could have a cappuccino, please. This ice cream machine says that it doesn't freeze on the right side. They say that the barrel's hot. And this is the barrel temperature on the right side. 35 degrees. I am afraid to pull that handle. Here's the condenser. This line I'm touching is cold. Everything else is piping hot. This headmaster valve is in full bypass right now. This ice cream machine is heating its ice cream because it's low on refrigerant. Here's the standing pressures. Looks like if I equalize and I still have enough pressure to maybe find a leak. Now after stripping all the insulation off, all the insulated lines, I found a leak over here. See, liquid line rubbed through on the filter jar. That's the problem right there. That didn't start until the recovery was running. Temperature probe's hooked up, barrel's full of mix, and the refrigerant's low. I'm gonna run and show you what it does. This is initially when it first turns on. Just barely got these distributing lines cool. And this charge line's hot, but the liquid line's cool. Give it just a little while. See the liquid temperature rising? The distributing lines aren't cold anymore. After so long of doing this, it's gonna look like it did when we got it. 100 and some degree ice cream. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you today's light show event. And I just decided to blow up right in the middle of me trying to charge this unit. These three wires blew apart. So I saw a hole it took out of that. And now they're put back together. I guess we'll resume charging it up now. Now that it has refrigerant in it, look at the numbers. And the ice. No, I don't think I'll be re-insulating any of those lines. I think I'll just leave them like that.